Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, I'm here with Draco. And today I am going to try out Dominion here. Draco's gonna keep a close eye, of course, because he loves Dominion as well. It's a really good card game. It's one of these like old classic basically by now. It's been around for a long time and it's called sort of start the deck building uh, thing as well. And you know, we really like deck building. It's like absolutely one of my favorite game mechanics uh, to have. So it's coming to Steam. This is the beta version. So keep that in mind. This is a very early version here. I just got into the beta testing and uh, they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to uh, make a video of this. So I'm going to do this as like a first look at it here. Of course, things will change and so on. And uh, I will probably like when the final release comes, I will probably play this a lot. So anyway, uh, let's get started here. There's you can't play online yet. But that's basically what I'm looking forward to later on, of course. Uh, you don't have any really, let's see, is there any settings? There's no music right now, or like, uh, I think there's sound effects. Let's see. There's a how to play. Okay, so tutorial rules and so on. And I guess we just do, I, I tried a little bit before. Well, let's, let's just do a new game. And so when you do a new game here, can't really do that much. You have the player and the AI, basically. Uh, you can like customize to, I think you can like drag and drop cards or whatever later on, it looks like. And here are all the expansions and so on. Uh, but right now we're just playing with Intrigue and Seaside. And I see it seems to be the only thing we can do right now. Again, it's just an early beta. So let's go in here. And again, there's no music or are there no sound effects? Huh. Okay. So there's no sound in the game. Okay, this is a log. Which is pretty good. I can just remove these then. There's no sound in the game anyway. <laughs> Alright. Well, I don't have to worry about the sound levels at least if they are... Uh... Okay, between my voice and the game audio, because there's no game audio, obviously. Okay, so I just played all my copper here. If you haven't seen Dominion before, it's a very simple game, but it's really fun. And the real, where the game shines really, is that uh, they have this like market that you vary between games. So you have different kinds of setups and that makes for very different games as well. So in this one, we have the gardens here. Okay, you can, yeah, you can right click them. This is worth a point per 10 cards you have. This is good if you get building a huge deck. And tell me in the live chat, by the way, if there's any issues with the stream or with the sound level or yeah, audio level, my voice and everything. Workshop Guinea card costing up to four. That's pretty good. Vassal, discard plus two gold. Discard the top card of your deck. If it's an action card, you may play it. That's one I like. Chapel, trash up to four cards from your hand. Like that as well. Get rid of those copper and so on later on. Seller plus one action, discard a number of cards and draw that many. So basically in this game you have, you start every turn with like one action and one buy. <laughs> so you need to get more actions in order to play more action cards during your turn. So playing the seller is like you use an action to play it, but then you get a new action. So you can discard a number of cards and draw that many, that's pretty good. Again, you can get rid of those copper and so on. And there's curses in this one, which is a minus point. And okay. Um, Moneylander, trash or copper from your hand for plus three gold, but that's just temporary gold, of course. Then council room. I don't know why my, I had this issue earlier as well, that I'm trying to watch the chat on my phone because that's the easiest way for me to do it, but then it doesn't update. Okay, there we go. So council room, plus four cards, plus one buy. Each other player draws a card. Plus four cards is really good. However, if I have a bunch of action cards, I need more actions as well. Otherwise, I'll just draw cards and I can't play them anyway. Festival is good though, plus two actions, plus one buy, plus two gold. I do definitely want some festivals. The mine is to make trash or treasure from your hand. Trash is getting rid of it. Gain the treasure to your hand, costing up to three more than it. It's that sort of this. Oh, well, you can trash it. Artisan. Gain a card to your hand, costing up to five. Put a card from your hand on onto your deck so that's good you know that you will draw it next time again and again that's good with all these like since you only have a limited amount of actions 
this is a good effect that you can keep bouncing stuff around. Anyway, right now I played my four coppers. Uh, I have one estate, which is one point that I started out with. You're trying to get these like provinces here as the most points. And you have different uh, value of coins. With three, I would buy a silver, but with four, I think I will go for one of these. And I kind of like the money lender. Wait, where does the curse come from? Uh, where does the curse come from? There's no card. I think the curse cards are just here. Some cards would give you curses, but I don't think we have any of those in play. All right, so I think I'll just go for a workshop maybe to start off. That's a three. I'll do a money lender. Treasure copper. Yeah, I'll do a money lender here. Okay. So then I can see that my. Here's like my action, my buys, my gold, my points. Over on the right hand side, we have my deck with six cards, I assume. And my opponent is up here in the top. And it's a little bit hard. Like, I wish, I don't know if that's coming later, but I wish I could click him and get like. Now I have to go in here and go to the log. To see what he actually did because it you know it goes so quickly that so easy AI played four copper he buys the silver shuffles the deck row five cards he basically just always buys silver in the beginning but uh, I wish there was I could just click so this is some feedback here <laughs> if the developers are watching I don't know if you're watching this afterwards whatever uh, I, I would like to just be able to click up here on my opponent to instantly see the log of what he just did or they I guess it's not a gender thing so I have three copper I can play them one by one if I want to by clicking them or I can just play treasures which is all of them so now I have three I'm gonna buy a silver and silver is worth two instead and I'm planning to trash my copper anyway so and you kind of see what the opponent is doing but it's very very quick so, so it says I mean he gained a council room which is this one here four cards to buy okay well it's pretty good if the opponent's gonna play these this one then we will get to draw a card as well when when they play it so that's pretty good Right, so now we have the money lender here. And we have one action, we just used it to play the money lender. Now we can trash a copper or decline. We're gonna trash one of these, and that got us three money instead of the one. And then we play this, so we have four. And of course, in this game, you can basically destroy yourself because if we would trash all the copper, then we don't have any money and then we would <laughs> be stuck. There is a set, I don't remember what it's called. It's one of the expansions that has like these rats, and they basically like, I don't remember how they work, they eat up. It's like they trash another card and you gain another rat. I don't remember the positive thing. Well, they are good, I guess, because you can trash cards with them. Anyway, I played once with my friends in real life. And I ended up with only rats in my hand. <laughs> and I couldn't win uh, because I just kept doing that. So, yeah, you got to be careful. I would like a festival, but I don't have enough. Should I do a... No, let's just keep doing silver here for now. Okay, so they're playing copper... And bought the silver. It's a pretty standard turn here in the beginning. Now I have five though, so that's good. So I have five. I'm definitely getting a festival to get more actions and so on. It also gives money and it gives a buy, so it's, it's really good. They have five. So, oh, they got another silver. That was pretty bad play, I would say. If you have five, you shouldn't buy a silver. If you only have one buy. So money lender, let's trash a copper. Let's play these. That brings us up to five. Let's get another festival, I think. Having two festivals seems pretty good. And then, since I will keep trashing... Oh, there we go. I bought a gold now. Since I will keep trashing my copper, I will not have that huge deck. So I don't think I will go for gardens. Because that's more if you have a lot of cards in your deck. And I don't want to have too many festivals. Because then I get a bunch of actions, but I don't have enough action cards. So I need to buy more action cards, of course. I'm going to play this, and now... Come on. And now I have... So it took one action to play, but now I have two. So I can keep going. I don't have another action card, though. Let's play the treasures. Let's buy a silver. And I have another buy, because I get an extra buy there. And I have two more. So do I get a seller? Or a chapel? Trash up the four cards from your hand. No, let's get a seller. I think that's pretty good. And tell me in the live chat if you enjoy Dominion. Have you played it a bunch over the years? I think it's been out for like 13, 14 years or something like that. Maybe more. I think it was 2008 
the Dominion came. They're 13 years, right? Yeah. All right, so now I'm playing the seller. I can discard up to five cards and I get to draw. So let's discard the copper. And I got my estates instead. I didn't help play. So I have six. I could get the artisan. Hmm, yeah, let's get one artisan. Uh, that's, that's cool. Now I have two festivals. So now this is the situation. He got a gold. I keep saying he, but you know what I mean. Uh, now it's the situation where I can play festival, get another, get two actions, play another festival, and you see the money goes up, the buys go up, and then I can play the money lender, crashing a copper, playing that, and I have three buys with eight. So with eight, I could buy a province, which is basically when the race for points begins, is when you buy that province, and then usually other players or you know human players would start like, oh wow, someone started the point race, now we gotta get on it. What is the mine though? Treasure, treasure, no. Council room. Yeah, it's pretty good. Vassal. I don't really like this setup of car share. I don't really see that many strong combinations. Uh, yeah, bones and bonuses, bones and banners are saying it's it's a great big, it's a great game because it's easy to learn, but it has a lot of depth. That's true. The like picking up this game, starting to play it is very easy. Um, I like playing this physical version because you're just basically boom 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 if everyone knows the game well it goes really quick and just playing and playing and playing um you think i should always should i always buy a province if i can yeah i guess i should right it's been a while since i played i used to play a lot there is like a dominion.com or something like that a website uh some years ago when i was traveling a lot for work I remember sitting at a hotel room and just playing that website a lot. But that was like a pay per month to be on that website. I only did it for like a month or something. And I played a bunch with all kinds of expansions. But I like I like you know, being on Steam. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's trash another copper. So we're really getting low on copper here. We have four. I think we'll need more silver. I think we need to buy silver since I'm trashing copper constantly. So... They they got gold. We don't have gold yet. Let's do festival, artisan, gain a card up to five. Should I get a council room? Four cards to buy. That's a lot of cards. Let's get one. Oh wait, did I get it to my hand even? Oh, I get it to my hand, and then I can put a, put a card from my hand onto my deck. So now, right now, I would have. No, I don't want to do that. I think. Do I have to top deck? I think so. Let's just put a copper then because I want to play this. Draw all these cards. Now I'm out of action though, so I can't play festival. I play my trade. Oh, I got to seven. I thought I could get to eight that way, but I didn't. So with seven, I'm getting a gold, I think, for six. I think I am. I instantly drew the gold as well. He keeps just getting silver. I don't know. Um, they have 15 points, so they must have gotten some point cards without me realizing it. <laughs> Alright, so seller, let's discard the copper, and council room, and play, and that brings me to 8, so let's just get the uh, province then. As you can see, this game goes very, very quickly when you're into it. Okay, so that's a pro- yeah, they got a province and a duchy, oh wow. So festival, artisan, and yeah, let's get mine because that way we can level up. Like we can go from a silver to a gold, basically. Uh, let's just put the province over there. Let's level that up to get a gold, and again, it's to my hand. That is so good. That brings me to seven. <laughs> So let's get a gold again then. I don't want more copper. Maybe I should. I don't know. I like should get more copper because so the game will end when the provinces are done. There's only uh, three left. So it's a really quick game. And yeah, let's discard my point cards, obviously. Play these. Got me to six. Getting another gold. And I don't know. No, they're getting another province. I think I lost, actually. Um... Yeah, 
getting a card from my hand, I could do like, well, if, uh, I can't play. Let's get a duchy. And let's put that top deck, play these, get another silver. I think I lost already. Because the opponent is basically only getting point cards now. So festival, mine. Let's trash the copper, get a silver, and play everything. And that brings me to seven again, so I'm not really getting there. They're doing council room, which lets me draw a card, and they're gonna get another province. There we go. Um, yeah, well, let's do that. So I get a bunch of cards. Oh, I got a lot of action cards, though. So again, seven. <laughs> I'm not doing good at all here. Hey, Nick. Yeah, there we go. I lost 44 to 18. Um, so I was too slow. Like, I like to build an engine with this. My favorite way to play Dominion is with the Prosperity, I think it's called expansion, where you have, like, another layer. So it's not just the, pros the um, provinces. It's, there's another thing. Like, another, I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but like another card before the game ends. So the, ga the game goes a little bit longer, and you, I like building up my deck, really. Building up an engine, basically. Let's do a rematch. Let's see if I can beat this AI. And now we have another, okay, so what do we have here? Poacher. I don't know the card by name anymore. I used to at some point, but... Card action. Scout a card for empty supply pile. Militia. Disc every, each other player discards down to three cards. That's pretty cool. Oh, village is a classic one card and two actions. Merchant card and action. Good with silver. Bandit gain a gold. Each other player reveals the top two cards of the deck. Trash is a real treasure other than copper and discard rest. That's also so two nasty attack cards now. And now we just gotta see here if if the opponent will start getting those action cards or not. I'm gonna go militia from the start here. Why not? That could be fun. Just like force my opponent to discard down. Okay, so they got a smithy. Yeah, so I gotta keep track of what they buy, really. And it's weird. It, I wish there were some sound effects. They're probably coming later on again. This is beta, so. But um, right now, I, it's weird to play a digital game like this and not have any sound effects at all. Alright, so let's get a. Should I get a village or a silver? Let's get a village now. And they're getting a silver, so am I. Smithy, and they got a bandit. Okay, that's nasty. So I guess we just play the village here. Militia. So now they have to just go down to three. And these, and a silver. I only had one buy. Maybe I should have bought something else. I don't know. Um... Okay, now I have a lot of money, actually. I only have one buy, though. So am I getting into library? Currently, you have seven cards, skipping an action card. You choose to set them as a side. Uh, or the artisan again. Yeah, let's get an artisan again. I do like that. Okay, here comes the bandit. So, but I didn't have, so this is like digging the gold. Treasure, reveal treasure other than copper. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't need to trash anything. But it, like when I'm start getting silver and gold, they could be trashed by the bandit. Hmm. So four. There's no defense card in this either. Poacher, card action, gold. This is pretty good. I think I should get more money actually. Smithy again. And again, the gold. And yeah, I need more money. Let's get a gold. A six. Big in a silver. And a poacher. And that brings us to five. Let's get a bandit as well. We can start making them have to. Oh, there we go. I didn't lose anything. But it's really nasty. It's really scary with the bandit every time it comes up. Okay, so this gets me gold, which is awesome. They didn't lose anything though. And this gains me a card. Cost me up to five. Let's get a smithy here. And let's top deck the smithy because I can't play it anyway. I don't have the actions for it. Play these, get a silver. 
And there's the first province. <laughs> there we go. They're so quick. Okay, poacher. And I can do smithy or militia. I need, I like militia, just smashing them as much as I can, really. And let's get the laboratory. I like the action cards, but I think I'm too invested in them. I think I need to focus more on like getting gold and upgrading my money as quick as possible. Um, oh yeah, 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 militia is like a silver, that's true. Mark is saying here that it's for the same price. Yeah, yeah that's true, so it's better to buy a militia. Well, it's an action card, that's the only downside, I guess, that you might end up in a situation where you can't play it. But as long as you have villages, I guess, so you get two actions. I mean, like right now I have two actions that I can't do anything with, so that's true. And I get to seven again. I only have one buy, that's the problem. I'm getting gold. He's getting silver. Laboratory is good. And that's... Should I do bandit or should I do militia? Oh, the goat is screaming. <laughs> I'll do bandit because that gets me a gold as well. And yes! He had to trash a gold. Love it. Love it. Okay, so I'm up to five. Let's get another bandit, just because it's fun. I should get a, I should get at least one more village, I think. Oh no, here comes the, the province. Uh, so, smithy or artisan? I'm going to do smithy since I have two gold. Oh, I got to seven. I, wish, uh, I was hoping to get to eight. Let's get another gold then. And that's bandit, but I didn't have to trash anything, so that's good. You can always check the log as well if you get confused. So, uh, village and a bandit. Yeah, yeah, so I didn't reveal any treasure cards other than copper. But here we go, there's the... Oh, there we go. You have to trash your gold again. So good. So good. Let's get another gold. Oh, look at this hand. I have so much money now, but he's getting another province. He's just running away with it, basically. So I have too much gold there, really. Because I only have one buy anyway. And he's getting another province. Yeah, I'm pretty much done for here. I need to beat this. So now, like, I only have one buy. I need to get more buys. Where would I get that, though? I don't remember. I don't think there is one. I don't think I saw one. Uh, was there one? Oh, there's no way to get more bites. Okay, so that should, of course, affect my strategy. Like, I, sh I should have known that from the start, so basically. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I just need to get all the point cards I can, really. It didn't have to. Okay, eight. And that's the end of the game. So, okay, I lost, but it wasn't that big this time. 27, 31. So it really is such a quick game when you play it like this. I mean, it's a quick game in on the table as well, but it's super quick here. And I wish I could now go into here and just, like, put in different... Like, I would like to have Prosperity. Uh, I also remember... I think it's Dark, Dark Ages is the one with the rats. Alchemy, I think, is pretty good. I haven't played all of these, though. So, uh, yeah. I wish I could do more of that, but... It's coming, I guess. This is the beta, so. So, let's see. What store? Expansions. Oh, do we need... Oh, do you need to buy the expansions? Oh. Hmm. Huh. Now I'm confused. Uh, I'm not confused, but I'm surprised. I, I didn't know. I didn't realize that. So, okay, all the expansions are... Like something you need to go in and buy. What does it cost, though? Like seaside. Okay, this is yeah, this is unlocked. This is what I played with, right? And in intrigue, wasn't that what I played with? Yeah, intrigue and seaside are okay. So it's temporary unlocked. So then, like in the in the release game, you will have to go and buy like all the expansions separately. I hope they won't be that expensive. Though. I don't even know what the game will cost because I got like a review copy code for the beta. So. But I mean, I will probably 
definitely get prosperity, like my main, my first one here. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that. I think I will end the stream. It's a quick one, short stream. Uh, just wanted to try this out a little bit. And as you can see, it's very quick to play, but it, there's not that much in it right now since it's a beta, so it's not like I can keep exploring it. I mean, I can do a new game and just look at what we get here, like Harbringer. Look through your discard pile, you may put a card from it onto your deck. That's pretty cool. Remodel, trash a card from your hand, gain a card casting up to plus two. There's so much, like, there's so many cards and the combination of how they combine, that's what makes the game so interesting. Sentry. Look at the top two cards of your deck, trash and or discard any number of them, put the rest back on top in any order. That's good. All right, I'm gonna go to the main menu here and say thank you so much for watching this really quick stream. If you're watching this afterwards as well, tell me in the comment section if you're excited for Dominion on Steam. Uh, you know, have, have you played Dominion a lot? Do you have any thoughts about it? What's your favorite expansion? Like, that's a good question for you. Uh, tell me in the comment section what your favorite expansion of Dominion is because I will. Again, when this is released, I will play it a bunch more and I'll probably do like another stream then as well and show you the final game and so on. I hope they put in some music and some sound effects because it's weird to play a game like this as all quiet. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. I did. There's more videos coming here this weekend. Uh, we're getting some um, carcass on hunters and gatherers on the table with Draco. Me and Draco will be playing that. That's coming this weekend and, and hopefully something else as well. So keep following the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, press the button down there and the bell symbol so you get notification from YouTube when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye.